don't worship for all of God's sake. And never recognize what it is. We've been accused of being a cult, and people don't even know what a cult means. That's right. But anything that's, that's of a righteous nature uh, or origin, you get accused. Now, we're not accusing Christians of not being sincere. Right. We're not accusing them of uh, trying to, to uh, come to something that is not real. Mm. What we're saying is they haven't come to enough. That's it. And that's both. Mm -hmm. You see? And that's what we were talking about in part last night. That Yahweh has uh, set forth a pattern or a highway. Yes. yes. By which you can know him as he really is an act of good. Right. Now, let me go back and say, as it was said tonight, if Yahweh declared a purpose within himself and that he would carry it out, mm. you see, then you would never know what it was unless he revealed it. Right. That's right. right. Now, let me, let me just take you right where you sit before you came to class. You've been wearing a body. For however old you are, and you didn't know nothing about you. Right, that's right. You follow? You didn't know nothing about how you were created in his image and in his likeness. Mm -mm. And somebody just reads that to you out of the Bible does not explain it. Mm -hmm. That's right. You see? We want to come to an absolute and profound understanding. If we're wrong, we want to know it. Yes. You see? Yes. And find that quickly, that which is right. Yes. Right. You understand? Yes. And if we've got it right, then we want to buy it. That's right, man. You see? Right. That's right. Now, I thought, as the previous speaker was thinking and listening to them, <coughs> the things that they explained are the things that were not known. That's right. The divine meaning of it. Right. right. You understand? Mm -hmm. The very thing they were explaining was the mystery. Yes. Right. That's right. That's you understand right. that? That's yeah. right. Now, let me give you an example. There was a tabernacle made. And when we say it was made, let's, let's stipulate this along with it. It wasn't something that Moses decided to build because he had nothing else to do. Do you know All right. You know, this was not a hobby. That's right. Let's get Exodus 25 for you, right? Now, why are they doing that? Yahweh had told Moses to come up into a mountain, Mount Sinai. And he would give him table of stone already written. Right? That's right. Now, why were they already written? Moses and the children of Israel is approximately 2,500 and 20 years from the beginning of state. Right. Come on. Now, I said that to say this. Moses was already walking around in the creation. Mm -hmm. You understand? So the creation came in by the law of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. All right. So then when he tells him to come up and get the law that he's already written, because he's already created the heavens and earth. Yes, sir. You see that now? Yes, sir. That's the law of the Spirit of life that Dr. Uh, Aris was talking about. You see? Now, that's all Moses. Well, let's say this too. Moses was invited to come up into the mountain yes. by Yahshua. And these names, so you'll understand some of them. Mm -hmm. This is Yahweh in an incorporeal form. Mm -hmm. And this is the same Yahweh manifested in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You see, now Revelation says, these are my two witnesses. Mm -hmm. Faithful to witness. Right. You see that now? Yes. It's not Moses the prophet. Right. 
although most of the prophets were a figure, and they were the ones that Yahweh had chosen. I'm not diminishing them in any man. Right. Right. You see? But as Yahshua said when in the fulfillment, that even one who trusted mm -hmm. Moses, right. even he accused him, but I've never accused him. Yeah. Yeah. This was without fault.
There were folks going around they they were perfect. <laughs> That they knew, they understood. Uh -huh. So Yahweh was saying, you so great, I'll give you nine more. Yeah. See how you handle that? Yeah. <laughs> see? Now here's what you got, I thought of as they were speaking. Said, so we'll be all right with God if we just keep the Ten Commandments. And yet we read tonight, we come away to take them out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's contradictory. Mm -hmm. Unless you understand that the law was spiritual. Mm -hmm. So, yes. You understand? And it was you that was taking it in a, in a natural or carnal like way. What is carnal? Physical. Mm -hmm. right. Let me give you an example of that. <clears throat> Yahweh said, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Yes. And let me practice by saying, I'm not condoning what you even call adultery. All right. But what Yahweh is talking about, when he said, Thou shalt not commit adultery, don't go around there. My name is Jehovah, Buddha, Baal, or give my glory to some other so called deity. Right. Right. I'll, I'll be damned if you put me in a door. All right. Don't do that. Yes. So then the law, now we understand now, since Mike had to read for Yahweh's spirit, we know what that spirit law means. Right. It's not talking about you and your own lady. Right. You see? Now, if you understand the law of the spirit, right. you will conduct yourself. Right. You see, in the law of the flesh, I'll say it that way for the sake of illustration, right. as you are in the spirit. All right. All right. That's exactly what he does. Mm, that's right. You follow? Mm. And it is written in your Bible. One thing we said, as Michael said, we're, it's, it's in your Bible. Mm -hmm. Paul stated that, for I know now. Yes. There was a time he did not know that until he, on his way to the master, when mm -hmm. Yahweh revealed it to him, he did not know. All right. That the law was spiritual, but it was him looking at it in a carnal way. Wow. It's another concept. You think by getting water back that you will be saved. Right. You see? When it takes a spiritual baptism. Yes. You follow? Yes. You think eating Lord's Supper and drinking grape juice will save you. When it's eating and drinking with him in the spirit. Yes. Right. Well, what is that? That's what we're doing now. We're understanding the things that Yahweh is. We're feasting with him. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. So Moses going up into the mountain. Backtracking. Right. See, he didn't go up on his own. He didn't go down in Egypt on his own. No, sorry. <laughs> As we talked about it tonight, go down and tell Pharaoh, who? To tell him what? Mm -hmm. See? You get it now? It's like you trying to walk through feet, trying to walk up in the White House and tell Bush how wrong he is. Mm -hmm. see? They're not going to accept that. Mm -hmm. You see? So then, <laughs> Yahshua, Moses' minister, that meant he was going to do some ministry. Mm. Or if he could understand. And he's still ministering in the tabernacle. Yes, yeah. Of your body. That's right. That's you right. See? By which he cannot break the law. Why? Because he is the law. Yes. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. You see? So he told Moses to come up. And what I was after. 